This group is made up of mostly black activists and leaders and community members. They met just an hour after Moriarty announced her plan. That is a good thing that they are working on a plan. But one of the things that I think is needed is community input and involvement and parental input and involvement. Nikima Levy Armstrong was one of the community leaders and activists who say there is a worry about including all communities in the plan. We want to ensure that there's cultural competency and that there's diversity in terms of who shows up at a family's door. Our children are screaming out. Sharon Elamine, chair of the Minneapolis School Board, wanted to focus on the problems youth of color are facing. Our children are coming to school after these traumatic experiences of losing a friend, of being in some of those cars, of showing up back at school the next day without having the opportunity to deal with the trauma that they are faced with. This is way overdue. Chantel Allen, the St. Paul School Board Director, also wants to see more investment in youth programs like financial literacy and career readiness. Had they started investing in our young people years ago, then folks would have a direction to go that is positive. Many also condemns law enforcement and its handling of high speed pursuits. Earlier in the month, seven were hospitalized in another police pursuit of a car full of kids. They can't go down the middle of streets chasing at high speed 13, 14, 15 year olds. It, look at the cost that we're paying. We're paying the cost of our children's lives. This group hopes to see more collaboration between law enforcement, between police, and they hope they can see more of that in the future. Back to you.